so your eyebrows will always be short. But have you ever wondered what they're actually for? Ta-da! Don, what have you done now? I'm just getting ready for our experiment. One of us needed to not have eyebrows, so ta-da! Oh, well, good job. Wait a minute! Is that my bathing cap? Uh, no, no. Th this is the Dr. Zand patented eyebrow eliminator. <laughs> Why is it blue? There was a mix-up at the factory? Throughout human evolution, we've lost much of the hair on our bodies, but our eyebrows still remain. Now, scientists argue that one of the jobs of eyebrows is to keep rain and sweat out of our eyes. But is this true? To find out, I'm going to drop water over Zahn's head as if there was a massive rainstorm or he was very sweaty. Oh, that's, that's very unpleasant. It doesn't feel like it's flowing down my face in the normal way. And what will happen with shampoo? Ah! <laughs> very peculiar. No eyebrows means the liquid flows straight into my eyes. But any good experiment needs a control, and in this case, the control has to have eyebrows, which means it's you. So it's Chris's turn. Let's see if having eyebrows does a better job of protecting his eyes. It certainly feels like most of the water is being guided off here and running down the side of my face. You can see that Chris's eyebrows are diverting the water flow around the side of his face. Whereas poor old eyebrowless Zand had liquid running into his eyes. And now, the final part of the experiment, the shampoo. <laughs> no, well, it didn't keep the shampoo out of eyes, that really stings. <laughs>